if you have 2209s and you want your end stop to work, what you gotta do is you gotta take this pin right here, this one that I'm pointing with my tweezers, this one that I'm holding, and you gotta either remove it, bend it, or what I'm gonna show you to do is uh, solder it out and pull it up so that you can put it back if you want. This pin uh, enables sensorless homing, which means that your end stops will be ignored, the actual micro switches, and uh, the um, and then when you compile your firmware and you run everything, if this is connected, uh, even though you've got your end stops set up in software, it's going to try and sensor this home and then it's just gonna jam it in the corners and it's not gonna stop. So you gotta pull this out. Now what it's gonna look like when you're done soldering is like this. You can see that from this side, you can see there's no pin here and that I've pulled the pin out so that it's just really high. That's not gonna collide with anything. It's about the same height as the uh, heat sink. So this, I just like this because then later, if I ever want to use sensor homing, probably not, but if I wanted to, I could uh, uh, just heat this up, push it back in. So the way I do it is, uh, I, you know, I have helping hands over here, uh, you know, that can hold the uh, board. So for example, uh, you can see I got these guys. These are really awesome, but I found an even easier way that I'm going to show you right now, which is you just take the driver here and remember this is the pin that i'm going to remove get your uh soldering iron to about 700 degrees get nice and hot now you see this bolt right here on my vise i'm just going to literally just press this against the bolt i'm going to heat it up from the top and then just push so this is how i do it I'm go like that so i'm gonna get a little more light for myself there we go so I'm gonna go like, heat it up like this. Now it gets nice and hot. Let's see. There you go, see it? Push it down. Just push it against that screw. It's pretty good, a little more. The reason I'm going slow in this is I don't want to fry the board. I don't want to put so much heat in that other soldering points, um, you know, get all melted. So I like to like just apply a little at a time and just keep pushing kind of firmly until it moves on its own. So there you go. So from this side, you can see that pin's been totally removed and the pin's right here and I can just push it back in if I want.